Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. And this is my take on the Smitty Belt top. The replacement top. So this one came with tinted windows, which is really nice. Um, and the rear view is tin as well and clear. Oh, so nice. I bought this uh, Jeep, just got it, but the top was wore out. Apparently, this cable here, that goes, there's a cable that goes along the seam right here. It ain't tend to break. So the last one I had broke. So uh, it, flat, it was flapping around. It also, the windows were all fogged up. You couldn't see through it. And the Velcro up the top here was all loose. It didn't barely even stick anymore. It was actually very easy to, to install compared to um, what I thought, my expectations. It, was, it worked out pretty well. So it looks pretty good. Here's a, a view of the top. Pretty tight. The material is not as thick as the original, but it's definitely not as expensive. I and mean, this was about, uh, I paid $300 for it. Here you can get them for less. But the original ones are going for like, what, 1200 bucks or so, if you get the original equipment. And it uh, seemed like the construction is pretty good. The only, the only big difference, I think, is the fact that the material probably not as fancy. It's pretty basic, but it looks all right. You know, it's a Jeep. What in the world? So, it seemed like it was, it was decent for the money. I would have done the installation, but I didn't have any time. And it was, I really wasn't sure what I was doing anyways. But there's the color on the inside. But there's a lot of videos out there that shows you how to do it. You don't really need to do a Smitty Belt soft top installation. You can do any soft top installation. They're all the same. Pretty easy, except for, uh, oh yeah, they say you pull something like let it sit in the sun for, for something like two hours above 70 degrees. Um, that is very true because it's pretty tight. It's a, it's a snug fit when you first get it. And if you get it hotter, apparently it gets a little more loose, a little more manageable, more flexible. So when I did it, it was like 74 degrees. I had it out in the sun for about two hours, maybe just a little less. And it uh, it, it went together fine. But once it was all together, um, it wouldn't close. You have to put everything attached, attach everything on the from the back, attach it all. I think they actually suggest you do it up in the opposite direction. But attach it all, and then this will be open. But when you first put it on, it's up like this because it's so tight, it's pulling back. And you can barely get it down. Oh my gosh, it can't come down. And then when it's down, there's a bit of a gap. It should be closer to the front. And then you go inside, and you try to latch it. I think it'll be fine now. I think it actually stretched out. But it wouldn't reach. Yeah, it's fine now. It's stretched out after a couple days. But it wouldn't reach. So the trick is, you pull your seat forward, right? Pull the seat way forward, so you're sitting on here like this. And then, you're just, you gotta push it forward with your hand like this. Using the, the back of your chair as leverage. You push it forward, and then you stretch it out, it attaches, and then you close it. Once you get one side, so now it's actually, I'm surprised how much different it is after a day. Because the first day, it took me like 20 minutes to get this thing closed. So, after a couple days, it's fine. Okay, so here's me driving. Of course, I'm not going very fast right now. I'm going 30. And you can hear a little bit. Listen. I'll let you listen. Let's try and get some speed up. Rock 50. some noise but it's not like crazy um, all right so I got mine at uh, the four-wheel parts and it was like say it was 300 bucks so I felt that like was a pretty good deal what surprised me was for the installation they asked me hey do you want to get you want us to install it for you and I'm like hmm I'm pretty lazy how much 
400. I was like, 400 with insulation? No, man, it's 400. The insulation is 400 bucks. So it's 300 bucks for the for the top and another 400 bucks to install it. Well, everywhere online says it'll take you, it would take you about two hours, maybe three, on reviews. Well, to tell you the truth, it didn't take me long at all. And I, I would say I'm relatively handy and I can follow instructions pretty well, especially if it's on a video. So it took me two hours. And realistically, it shouldn't even took me that long because I kept losing my spot on the video. <laughs> I was using the video and I was walking around, I was, too, I was doing it as video played, and I would lose my spot. And then I lost my phone for like 20 minutes. Anyways, so realistically, I think it should have took me an hour and a half, an hour, 20 minutes, hour and a half to do it. And that was it. There was a piece I'm gonna show you that uh, was not barely clear. So under one. here, there is this uh, the spring, the spring inside there. You see that? All right, so that, you gotta connect the spring. Right, so any instructions I've seen in other places, you're supposed to. Uh, uh, you can't see it because it's all tucked in. There's a rivet hole underneath there. There's a rivet. See that rivet? Rivet. Oh, it's in there. Trust me. There's a metal rivet. You're supposed to remove this. Well, I was a. Uh, I was having difficulty trying to, they didn't actually explain to me on the one video I watched how to remove it. But, if you're patient, and probably have a pretty decent grip, I was able to actually move it, or remove it, and reinstall it with some needle nose pliers and a flathead screwdriver. So, that's what I did. If you can do it that way, then you can save yourself from uh, tearing that thing apart. Yeah. I'll put the link on the video that I saw. It was very easy to follow, except for that one part. It was really weird. He just says, remove the boot. Well, it didn't say how to remove it. So apparently I watched other videos and you gotta drill it out, or whatever. And I was trying to drill it out and it broke, sorta. But I was able to kinda salvage it. <clears throat> but uh, like I said, so then I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can just get it off without removing the, bo the boot, and I did. So. That was the only part that was really tricky, but even if it, even though it was difficult, it didn't really take me that that long to uh, to do each one. I thought for sure that's one of those spots where it could get you hung up for a while, but it didn't. Like I said, it did, I don't think it took more than five or ten minutes dealing with that, and I think I was able to take it, put them on, and take them off, put them back on easier than I expected. It was a little difficult, you know, a little struggling, but it, it went in there, you know. That was it. All right, so it hasn't rained yet since I've had this new top. Since it's only been two and a half days, I would say. But I did run into the car wash, so check it out. Oh yeah, a little bit of leakage. Not a lot, but definitely a little bit coming from the corner up there. There's a high pressure wash or rinse. Yeah, got water there. Got water there. I don't see anything in the back though. Hmm. Oh well. Now that I think about it, I don't think that leak is from the uh, from the top. I think it's from the the connector part, the the railing. I think there's an issue with it because we had an issue with it before my last the last top I had. Like I said, the I think it's this thinner, the, the window material is thinner, but you can see at the, look at you see at the back, look how clear it is. I can actually use my rear view mirror. Um, but it seems fine. I think it'll it'll hold up well enough. As long as that spring don't break, I hear sometimes those break. Like my other one did. So if that holds up, I'm sure the rest of the material will hold up well as well. Well enough anyways. Alright, well, okay, so overall, what do I think? Overall? I feel like it's a pretty decent deal. I feel like 300 bucks is a decent, fair price for a replacement top. I definitely would recommend trying to do it yourself. Well, it really wasn't that hard. As long as you have one of those electric screwdrivers, 
it's a must. It's a must have. But there's like a thousand screws to get to undo. Without that, I would not attempt it. Get the screwdriver first is worth the money. So that's my take. Is there anything else I want to add? I don't think so. But anyhow, I like it. Works good. It's quiet, quiet enough. You can hear a little wind, especially on the freeway. It's definitely feel windy. It's not nearly as quiet as the heavier material, canvas materials on the uh, original. Probably the aftermarket ones are even probably this even higher end stuff and it's really, really tight. But all in all, it seems fine. It seems like it works great. So there you have it. That's my take on the uh, Spitty Built Replaceable Soft Top. Thanks for watching, Paul State. Make sure you hit like, subscribe for more videos. Thanks again.